emergency live right now. I'm waiting for my mouthpiece to come so I can spar, so I can spar. So I can spar. <laughs> gets focused and take his ass to the gym every day that I didn't even think about the particulars. The only thing better than Javante Tank Davis taking on Flank in preparation for a Death in the American Dream Haney fight is Ryan Garcia sparring Flank every day to prepare for Devin Haney. What the hell? <laughs> That is the perfect situation. And let me tell you, I want I to say this. I want to say this. Somebody, my source, one of my sources out there, let me know how Ryan Garcia did against Frank. <laughs> Don't let y'all, you want to still be my friend? You want us to still be cool? Let me know how Ryan Garcia did, bro. I promise you, I will only make a video and tell everybody. That's the... <laughs> But no, and, and, Frank. Ryan Garcia fought Tank. I know Frank, I know you sparred Tank, but Ryan Garcia actually got real experience dealing with Tank in a pro fight. So Ryan is going to be giving him game, and Frank is going to be giving him rounds. Ha! Ring time with a slick fighter. The specific reason why Tank versus Frank is the perfect matchup. All because of guys like Shakur Stevenson and Devin the American Dream Haney. And here's Ryan Garcia dealing with that shit for an entire training camp. Perfect. Perfect. Now, I know Frank isn't a Devin Haney. He is not a Devin Haney. We all know that. But he has good preparation. He's a slick fighter. Good hand speed. Punch pretty good. Right? Devin Haney ain't known as a devastating puncher, which I keep saying. I think he can swap. <laughs> but he's going to be able to give Ryan some looks on top of Ryan knowing Devin Haney by fighting him six times in the amateurs. Ryan may be better prepared for Devin Haney come April 20th than we suspect. And I got 15000 If Ryan wins, I win $15,000. This did give me some satisfaction, a little bit more confidence in this fight. <laughs> I want to say this too. We're not really looking at Devin the American Dream Haney completely properly though. We know Devin Haney is very close to a perfect fighter. There's nothing you can take from that. But when you look at his resume, I know you guys bring this up, and it's a good point. How, how many times have we seen him against a prime fighter who can fight? How many times have we seen him against, not a fighter right outside their prime, like Lomachenko right outside his prime, Linares right outside his prime, but how many times have Gamboa, JoJo, Small, how many times have you seen him against a guy his size who is a prime fighter who is good? Regis Progray, Regis Pro, I mean, he took a shit on, on Regis Progray. But still, yeah, that was one time. I, I would never disrespect Regis, though. Regis, you know what I mean? Like, Ryan Garcia got more physical attributes than Regis Progray. I heard some stuff about Regis Progray's camp not being complete when they fought, but no excuses because Regis Progray, he just knew he was going to win the fight either way. So, it, I mean, it's best for that question to be answered by his last fight, though. If you want to ask Devin Haney, when has he fought a prime fighter with skill? It was his last fight. So it, that's, the, that's the appropriate time to have that question answered. But going into this fight, there are some questions we need answered from Devin Haney. I know Kev... Oh, excuse me. I know Cambosis. I must be allergic to Cambosis. <laughs> I know Cambosis 
primish fighter, but not really seen as extremely talented or anything. Um, but you could put that feather, that feather in Devin Haney's cap a little bit too. Um, but yeah, there are some questions that Devin has to answer this fight, but more questions from Ryan Garcia. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. I just didn't think about it. Show biz adult. Now I'm about to enjoy this beautiful day uh, when I can, all right? As long as I can. I'm out. Huh.